Hey everyone, so today I want to do a kind of a like random haul video of all this different stuff I've recently gotten and also talk to you about Mac to the Beach. Um, this is also a requested video. Somebody requested that I do a Grumpy Girl um, haul video and uh, lucky for them, I just got some stuff in the other day. So I'm going to go over that stuff as well. But just to be um, really quick and tell you guys a little secret. It's not really a secret, but it's just a little hint or tip. Um, pretty much, okay, so as you guys know, like, Mac to the Beach is on the website, and it was supposed to be released, like, the 27th or something, so a lot of stores aren't going to get their stuff until the 27th. Nordstrom, for me, is getting it, uh, tomorrow, their stuff, um, and I don't typically buy Mac stuff from Nordstrom or, like, the counters, but occasionally I will. And what you guys can do is, it, the, the Mac Marine highlight powder, the one with the seahorse on it, is all sold out, which... Um, it sold out within a couple hours on the website. I was so furious because I've been checking like every day to see if they'll release it early. And my day off, I sleep in a little and I went on there and it was sold out. And I'm, I'm just pissed. But anyway, I'm not pissed anymore because, um, the reason I'm, I'm just like dying to get this product is because I'm absolutely obsessed with seahorses. Like, I love seahorses. I collect anything seahorse. They're like my animal. Like, that's me. Like, I relate to seahorses. I love seahorses. But anyway, um, so when I heard Mac was going to have seahorse stuff, I was like, ah, it's like my two favorite things. No, not really. But, um, you know, I love Mac and I love seahorses. So together, it's like true love. Uh, so anyway, I went onto the Nordstrom website and they're actually not sold out of it yet. So go on the Nordstrom website if you're like really dying to get this product and you can purchase it on there still as of right now. Uh, I did get $5 shipping because if you spend $50 or more on the Nordstrom website, you'll get, uh, you get a beauty, the, the offer code is beauty, and you put that in and you'll get $5 shipping. So I just bought a bunch of stuff that I knew I wanted from the collection. I got Scorcher Red Nail Polish because it matches my bathing suit perfectly. And then I got uh, Floria Fun, which is that orangey peachy lip gloss because there's a seahorse on it. And then I also got the highlight powder. So I'm going to get the rest of the stuff that I want in the store. But I just thought I'd let you know that they do have um, they have the highlight powder still. So if you're dying for it, um, also Macy's website is also probably going to carry it when it's released um, in the next day or two. So just you know, know that there are other options. Like if you go to your Mac store and it's all sold out, like you can go to different counters that are in your area. And they might still have it. And I, I did a bunch of calling around and stuff. So, because <laughs> I'm obsessed. But anyway, I feel, like, relaxed now that I got it um, on the website at Nordstrom. It's not going to be here till like, June 7th or something. But I don't care because at least I know that I have it. And that's, like, the number one thing that I wanted. My kitty says hi. Hi. Okay. So, um, this is going to be a random haul video. And I guess I'll go over the Grumpy Girl stuff first. Um, I got a sample, and this is in Melba. Say hello and move on. Move on. Scoot. Okay. So this is in Drama Horror. This is a sample I got. And it, it comes, like, in a bluish green color. And it smells really good. It smells like Redkin's Clear Moisture Shampoo Conditioner, that kind of cologne -ish smell. It's like a fresh cologne soap smell. It smells really good, but I wouldn't purchase it because it's just not my scent um, that I go for. But it does smell really nice. I'm glad that they sent me that. And then um, I got... This is a full-size soap. This is called Pink Hissy Fit. And it's pinkish purple. And I really like this one. It smells like sweet cotton candy-ish almost. I don't know. It's very, very nice. I'm so bad at describing scents, guys, but I love it. It's very light and sugary kind of smelling. But then there's that hint of, of citrus or something that makes it all come together. It's very, very nice. It's a very girly smell. I really like it. Next one I got was um, High Maintenance. And I love this one. This smells amazing. 
It's a brown. It has like a holographic glitter on top. This is so wonderful. It's got a hint of patchouli in it. Then there's like a perfumey smell and a sweet smell to it. I don't know how to describe this, but it's very complex and I really like the smell of this. Yeah, I'm in love. It's got almost a soapy smell too. Um, Deceptions and Lies is still my favorite soap from them. But I'm using a whole bar right now in my shower, so. I wanted to try something new from them. And of course it comes with the really cute packaging. Um, you know, the tissue and then the little, little fun stuff. And they also sent me a Tootsie Roll and um, like this little sticky hand thing and my cat really liked to play with it and then the next um, sample I got was strawberry moonshine I hate this smell absolutely hate it it smells like strawberry and I don't like fake smelling strawberry smells like this smells like a strawberry lollipop with like some sort of alcohol smell to it it smells really gross to me. I, I can't stand it. I mean, there are some people that would really like this smell, but this is definitely not me. I hate strawberry fake smells. I don't know. I can't stand it. So I don't like that one, and I'm really glad that they sent me samples, so I know that I don't like it. <laughs> That's the beauty of this place is that when they send you samples, like, you know if you hate something or love it. So um, I'm really glad that, you know, I didn't buy that one. <laughs> But um, I hopefully I'm going to get a pink porn star and panties or something. I don't know. Porn star and pink panties, whatever it is. That one sounds to me like a really good smell. So I'm going to get that one next time I buy soap. But I only needed a couple bars of soap. But I love that, you know, the shipping is reasonable. It's super fast. And that's why I go with Grumpy Girl sometimes over Lush because it just, you know, I love Lush, but I love Grumpy Girl. It's just a good company. I always feel safe buying stuff knowing I'm not going to get screwed. So, um... So that's all I got from them. And then recently I checked out the OPI Shrek collection and I purchased two of them. This one is in Who the Shrek Are You and it's that green color. And it, it looks like um, this color that was in the Tempting Quad, Sharp, from MAC. It's like, this is going to be such a great fall color and now color. Um, I've been obsessed with this color. I did just paint my nails like a pinkish color from OPI. So, I mean, I can't show you what it looks like on the nails. But I love this color. It's literally the color of Shrek. I mean, it doesn't get any more Shrek than this. And it's a nice cream. And it looks like that. It's a really nice, kind of almost limeish green, but it's like a chartreuse green, I would say. So I love it. It's so cool. And it, it doesn't look too bad on my skin tone because I was really scared it was going to look kind of ugh. But it actually looks really cool. And I love pairing it with the purple one I got. And this is in Funky Dunky. And I got this one because I've been wanting Great Pop from China Glaze for like a long time. And this is the exact same color. But I don't like China Glaze as much as I like OPI. Like, OPI lasts on my nails way longer than China Glaze. So, if OPI has a, this, you know, a similar color, I'll go with the, um, I'll go with the OPI because I know it will last on me. And it's just beautiful mid-tone purple. I didn't have anything like it, believe it or not. <laughs> um, it's just a nice, regular, medium purple. And it looks a little dark here. And, you know, I have it on my toenails. And it does look a little dark in an in indoor lighting. But when you go outside... I don't know. You can't really see it. But when you go outside, it actually looks, like, really bright and, and beautiful. It's just awesome. I love it. So... I got those. A lot of the colors are dupable. Oh, if you have Misa's or Misa's Green with Envy, it's the exact same color, so don't get it. Uh, but I didn't have anything like this, so I purchased that one. And then there's a light blue color that's part of the collection, but I didn't pick it up because it is very um, similar to this one. This is by Color Club, and I just got this one, actually. And it's Chateau. It's something with Chateau in it. It doesn't say it on the actual packaging but it's a cream light blue the one from OBI has a slight shimmer to it I think but it is a bright sky blue and I love this color and it just looks like the one from OPI so I was like whatever this is way cheaper on head to toe beauty.com so, so I purchased that one 
Um, this is an orally color called Cotton Candy. I don't know if I showed you guys this before, but I actually got this at headtotoebeauty.com. And it's this gorgeous pink color. It's very different than all the other pinks I have in my collection because it's more of like a, a more on the peachier side of pink. And it's a beautiful cream, and I love this color. And this is in Dolly Pop. Or no, sorry, Dolly Pop. Cotton Candy. This is in Cotton Candy. 